Folks, we have to break down three stocks that I believe are on the verge of breaking out. So let's just dive into it. And by the way, these are all for trades, not for long-term investments. These are all for trades. Not saying they're bad long-term investments, but I'm looking at them as trades. So if you all find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Once you open up an account using that link down below, you get one free share of stock. And if you deposit at least 100 bucks, you get four more stocks. And listen to this. If you deposit at least 1000 bucks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks it's free money guys and it also helps out the channel i appreciate you all as always use that link down below and now let's dive into it with stock number one which is visa ticker symbol v guys and mind you they're reporting earnings here i think later uh well not this week today is friday but next week they're reporting earnings on i believe let's see if it even wants to work there we go on the 25th after the bell which i believe is either that's got to be Tuesday, right? So yeah, Tuesday after the bell, we have Visa reporting earnings. And if you guys didn't know, we called out this inverse head and shoulders a couple, maybe about a week, 10 days ago, not too long ago, right? And that ended up playing out. You guys see that right here. We have the left shoulder. Let me show you that. Boom. Boom head right there, right? You guys see that? Then we have the right shoulder right there as we ended up running through the moving averages with that right shoulder completing just a couple of days ago. No joke. And now we're actually approaching, we're at a big resistance from back in the beginning of uh, February end of January being about 234, 235, you guys can see that's where we failed back during that time period. End of January, heading into February, mid-February, right? So what we have now is, again, the inverse head and shoulders playing out. That's over with. Now we have an ascending triangle clear as day here on the four-hour chart, right? Again, we have resistance at about 235, but at the same time, we've been making higher lows for quite some time, for months at this point, right? Ever since the middle of October. You guys see that here, 175 held. We held roughly, um, you know, 198, 200. We held 210 to 11, 220 right here. Now, again, we're starting to break out towards 235. So the way I'm looking at it is if we take out 235.6-ish, I'm going to set my alert a little bit above that. Let me put it at 236. If that level is able to break, guys, we could see this ascending triangle play out and we could get a massive leg up after that, maybe towards um, 250, which I don't even know if that's 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 a legitimate high there. Um, I think this thing was glitching that day. I don't know what the heck was going on, but let's just go with it. If we break out of 236, we might be making a move towards 250. And at that point, guys, we're going to be near all time highs. Actually, let me, let me look at what the all time highs are. Yeah, 250, guys, look. 252 was that all-time high from back in the beginning of August, about a year, almost a year and a half ago, roughly, you know, in that general time uh, time range. So if we do break 235, again, the ascending triangle plays out on this four-hour chart, we're probably going to start going to 250. At least that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And of course, guys, don't take this as financial advice. Don't just go and buy these stocks. You got to do your own research. You got to understand what you're buying for yourselves. Keep that in mind. But for me, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm looking at here on Visa. And the next one is, guys, let me pull it up here and see. It is Monster, ticker symbol MNST, which the pattern is pretty much the same as Visa, right? We have clear resistance at about 53-ish dollars, 50 to 53. That's been resistance, really 52 to 53. That's been resistance all year and even in the end of 2022, right? And if you guys didn't know, they just did a two-for-one stock split a couple of weeks ago, and that brought the, the stock price down, obviously. And now we have, again, an ascending triangle forming, just like we saw on Visa here on MNST. We have resistance at about 53 bucks, but at the same time, we've been making higher lows ever since the end of February. February. You guys see a low here, higher low here. Another one right there, another one here, another one here. We just keep squeezing deeper and deeper into that triangle, right? So essentially what I'm looking at, what I'm waiting for is if we do end up breaking 54 bucks, we get that leg up. This could start really taking off. And uh, let me actually set my alert at $53. Mark is that we're above. There we go. So I'm going to be watching it, guys, here on MNST. And I just got my alert, actually. Funny enough, I just set the alert and it just hit the alert. Let me do another alert here at $53.50. There we go. Let me do that. Mark is that we're above. So if we really start getting out of there, guys, we could go past $55, in my opinion. Maybe it starts going towards, you know, $60. I'm not even sure what the all-time high on Monster even is. Um, wait a second. Are we at all-time highs now? 
Yeah, I think we might actually be at all-time highs now. Yeah, we are. So this could go to a fresh all-time high, in my opinion, if we get this ascending triangle to play out. We're, uh, we're pretty much a stone's throw away from that point at this point in time. So the last stock, guys, is CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. And by the way, if you guys are finding value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe as that does help me out overall in the algorithm. And we're so close to 30,000 subs, which is the goal here in the short term. Then we're coming after 50,000 subs. Then after that, of course, the golden number, 100,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well while you're at it. This next stock is CrowdStrike, CRWD, which is up 1.6% at the time that I'm making this video. And what I'm seeing here, guys, is clear as day, right? Let me explain what I'm seeing here. We're clearly in an uptrending channel. We have been for months at this point. You guys know that. And right now we're at the bottom of that channel, right? We're noticing some buyers coming in right at the bottom of the channel, right by the 180 SMA on the four hour chart as well. And now we're up 1.6%, $2, uh, you know, up on the day, which is really good. And we can see a clear resistance at the same time at about... 138. We kind of triple topped there over the past roughly month. We hit it here at the end of March, in the middle, beginning of April, and just a couple of days ago, right? So at this point, we are playing within this little range, 132 to 138. And I think now that we're getting buying pressure in the midst of a red day, we can see CrowdStrike maybe make a move back to 138, and that's going to be the real test, right? If we do test 138 and take that out, like I've been saying for uh, for a couple of videos now that I've talked about CrowdStrike on, if we take out 138, guys, that's where the real breakout could come towards the top of this channel on the four-hour chart, which could put the stock anywhere from 145, 150 bucks, maybe even higher than that. And we, you know, we could play this thing in the meantime between 132 to 138. So there could be some money to be made, you know, in the uh, in the move to test the highs from a couple weeks ago. Then if we break the highs from a couple weeks ago and just a couple of days ago, 138, again, that's where we could get the next really big leg up. So CrowdStrike, I'm watching, again, Monster and good old Visa, and maybe we'll do a bonus one now, Amazon, which is up 3.5%. I appreciate you guys for sticking on throughout this video. Amazon now is breaking out. Do you guys see this? It's up 3.4% on the day. It's at 107 bucks a share, and look at that. We had the ascending triangle that I called out a couple of days ago. That's playing out, and now we're pretty much running and, and filling the gap. We're on our way to fill the gap, in my opinion, at least to that high from a couple of weeks ago, more than a couple of weeks ago, about two and a half months ago, being from the uh, beginning of February, right around 112 to 115 bucks a share. By the looks of it, that's where this thing could be going, at least the way that uh, that I'm looking at it right now. So we can see that playing out. That's awesome. Heading into earnings next week, which I believe are on Wednesday, 27th. That's six days from now. So that's next Thursday. Yeah, that's right. They, they always report on Thursday. So overall, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are a couple stocks I'm looking at right now that are on the verge of breaking out. Some of them are breaking out, really just one of them here, the bonus one, which is Amazon. So if you all found value in the video, hit that like button again, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Guys, listen, once you open up an account, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And if you deposit at least a hundred bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks and it gets better. If you deposit at least a thousand bucks, guys, you get another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks and there's no strings attached. I mean, if you guys want to take your money out, you can do that. It's not like Moomoo takes 50 bucks or something. You can take all your money out. You keep all your free stocks and it helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys. As always, feel free to check out the Patreon as well. If you want to be a part of the Discord, you want to see my moves throughout the day, my Patreon portfolio. And if you want to see my charts and ideas, all that good stuff is on Patreon or you can join the YouTube channel membership either or. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.